Hey guys, it's Kenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be filming a get ready with me basically. So I put a poll on my Instagram being like, hey, do you guys want to see a makeup routine? And everyone was like, dude, we literally watch you do your makeup on live every single day. And I was like, oh, okay. So I'm going to do a get ready with me. So basically the whole shabam. The <laughs> no, that was bad. Makeup, hair, and outfit which I don't think I'm gonna do anything in my hair. If you're wondering what I'm getting ready for, nothing, absolutely nothing. But I felt like it would be a fun video and I haven't posted and also, I don't think I've posted a makeup tutorial in like a year now. Yeah, it was last year. I think around this time, I'm not really sure. My makeup routine has definitely changed a lot and I've been experimenting more with makeup, um, not that much. <laughs> I feel like I found a good makeup routine that works for me, so if any of you in the comments are gonna be like, um, she's doing this wrong, probably, but it works for my face. And I wanted to film it now because my skin looks really nice. Also, don't mind the stupid bangs that are happening. I regret that. Okay, we're just gonna have to deal with this little bang. Okay, no, we're gonna get a clip because I'm, I can't deal with this. So I'll also just like talk to you guys because I feel like it's been a while. You know me, I suck at YouTube. I don't know what I can say about it. There's literally nothing I can do about it um, other than post a video and apologize like I do every video. But first I'm gonna start off with my moisturizer from Bubble. This is the balancing moisturizer. Very hydrating. What I wanted to talk about, wait, what did I wanna talk about? What's new? What's new? What can I tell you guys? Um, I've been working on lots of music recently. I really think you guys will like it, I hope. I'm really excited about everything and also I might be able to go on tour, but we're not sure. If COVID gets better and everyone gets vaccinated, I might be able to go on tour, so let's pray for that. <laughs> Everyone stay inside so I can go on tour because I am so sad. I've been watching so many like old tour videos and it just makes me so sad because I miss being on stage and also meeting everyone. Like it was just the best thing ever. And like getting to travel with my best friends as my dancers is just like the best. One thing I have added to my routine. Oh, I need a mirror. Hold on. I'm sorry. I keep getting up. Why, is, why do I look like... Okay. But I don't know what that dot was on my nose, so we're just gonna ignore it, okay? Okay, so one thing, this bang actually needs to get out. This is like not even funny. If you're wondering why I have these, um, I decided to cut them and be impulsive. That was a really bad idea. So what I've added to my routine is I use a face roller now, which is like crazy because it does depuff your skin. My skin gets really puffy for some reason, um, but I basically just sculpt my face. Um, I'm trying to get cheekbones. I don't have any so i put moisturizer on before this so then it glides easily literally the best thing ever um so yeah i'm basically just rolling my face nothing nothing too interesting also i wanted to apologize to everyone um i've been taking basically a break off of instagram i go on for maybe an hour and then i just like leave being a teenager social media is super draining not even just for me i feel like for everyone even if you're not in the industry i just feel like it's super toxic and draining and i just needed to take a step back and you know focus on other things like my friends and my family and just life because <laughs> i feel like i'm so caught up worrying about what my instagram posts look like and wondering if i look pretty or not and if i you know just the whole thing but i don't want to really get into it but i just deal with a lot of anxiety I feel like a lot of people assume just because I have a lot of followers, that means I don't have normal teenage feelings, which is not true at all. I feel like I feel everything that every other teenager feels. And it's very hard to get that point across because obviously, yes, I'm so fortunate and I have an amazing life, don't get me wrong. But, you know, sometimes it gets a lot and it gets draining. And also I'm so young and just working so young is super hard. But I wouldn't trade it for the world. So I just wanted to tell everyone that just because, you know, your favorite influencers or your favorite artists or whatever they are have, you know, followers or they're famous or whatever, they still have things to deal with and they still have mental issues and they still have anxiety. And I just want you all to know that. So, sorry, I was just rambling. Okay, let's get into the makeup. <laughs> Recently, I've just been using a skin tint for my face because I don't like wearing foundation, I hate it, but I want 
why did it go out of focus for a second i hate wearing foundation but i want my skin to be even so i saw this on emma chamberlain's vogue video actually and her skin looked actually flawless so i got it and it's amazing i don't know how to pronounce this so i'm just gonna put this here wow real beauty guru right here the tinted face oil i'm in the shade 3.5 for reference i put some on my hand and then i take a foundation brush uh this is just a morphe x jaclyn hill brush i just kind of blend it into my skin i'm a little tan right now so it is a little light but bronzer usually fixes that and it literally just like gives your skin this really nice finish and also it makes you look so glowy too um i've been really into the glowy look recently i used to like powder my face so much because i watched so many like beauty gurus on youtube and stuff and i realized that my skin is so dry that i do not need that at all i mean like obviously it looks so good on some people but for me it makes my skin look so dry so i've just been you know trying to get products that hydrate my face and not dry out my face that's what it looks like see my skin like looks so glowy i mean it's a little light i, I don't know i just really like the look of it and it's very lightweight it doesn't even feel like i have anything on which is a plus so the next product i'm going to be using is the item beauty concealer which is addison ray's makeup brand and i'm in the shade 110 i think i mean i'm not really good at matching things to my skin but i got a bunch of different shades and i think this works the best oh that was a lot i didn't realize so i basically just put it there and when i have blemishes but i surprisingly don't have any right now my skin has gotten way better i used to i used to like it wasn't last week um i've been really bad about skincare because i've been staying up super late and just forgetting like i don't know why i just forget to wash my face obviously i take off my makeup when i wear it but i've just been so bad at it because i just am so lazy by the way like i'm not saying like oh i don't sleep because everyone says it like i genuinely have a problem where i can't sleep <laughs> i literally don't know what it is it's getting worse i go to sleep at 6 a.m every night so if anyone has any tips i've tried melatonin i've tried everything i've literally turned off my phone turned off everything laid in the dark and that doesn't work i wasn't explaining but i just go back in with the same brush that i use for my foundation to blend it in all nicely and that concealer is so dewy my skin looks so nice right now it literally doesn't my skin looks so pale right now it looks paler on camera <laughs> so next i go in with my Too faced peach perfect powder which i've been using for so long i'm actually obsessed with this powder it doesn't give you flashback you've probably heard the same exact thing from me in every video but it's kind of like a peachy tone so it just blends into your skin so well it's not cakey so i just take a little flat brush like this and I just take it under my eyes and I try to get as close to my, my what is it called? I basically just try and get it as close as I can to my eye. <laughs> eye crease really easily. And then I usually just take a little bit and put it under my nose. I'm just gonna use a little bit on like a, a fluffy brush, whatever, and put it on my chin because that gets really oily. So a thing that I literally just got into is cream bronzer. I've always wanted to try it. I feel like it looks so beautiful on everyone. I just really, my brush is like shedding on my face. That's so annoying. Um, I really just wanted to try it. So I have this one from Milk. I just got it and I literally broke it already. This is the shade Baked. Um, I also found out this trick from my friend Sophia. You want to put your bronzer higher than you normally do and your and your blush so it like raises your face because usually I would put it right here but I'm gonna put it a little higher than usual and then it brings your face up. I'm gonna put some here on my jawline, some on my nose. I still go back in with bronzer on my nose because you all know that I am very insecure about my nose. So I like it to look smaller than normal. I go in with a different foundation brush because I don't want that one to get bronzer on it. And I basically just blend it into my skin. I literally had to ask you guys for advice on how to use this because I didn't know how. My sister uses it and she looks flawless. So I was like, okay, I need to get into it. And then I kind of bring that on the top of my head too. I lightly blend it into my nose. I feel like cream blonde. Why do I keep saying blonder? I feel like cream blonde. 
<laughs> I feel like cream bronzer gives you more of a natural look. I'm gonna go in with my heart bronzer that I have had for literally years. Like, I think this was like my first bronzer I've ever gotten and I still have it, which I think is so cool. Like literally, I need a new one. I really need a new one, but I'm just, I hate makeup shopping. Put this in my crease. I usually just use bronzer for my eyes because I don't like to do like heavy makeup. And I also take my bronzer and I contour my nose. So I go down the sides. Um, You make a little triangle at the bottom of your nose instead of just doing a straight line, which I used to do. I make a circle and then I also put a line right on my bridge to make it you know look a little lifted doesn't really change i know it doesn't so it's fine but we're just gonna have to deal with it so next i'm gonna be going into my cream blush i used to just like put cream blush over my powdered face and it would just separate my foundation and look awful um but i don't do that anymore okay so this is the morphe x maddie ziggler blush in the shade peach out i actually love her stuff so much like i'm not even just saying that because she's my sister she's amazing at makeup like do you expect it to be bad no is to put your blush more up than down to bring up your face like look at that i don't know i don't know if that makes a difference for you like if you can see it but i see it for some reason i think it's just i've told myself that that looks like that so then it makes me think i i look more lifted but and then i blush up my nose and next we are going to be doing highlight which is not really highlight it's more of a glow stick so i am again using the uh morphe x maddie ziggler what is it called face gloss stick and this is called i do it just comes like this and usually what i do is i take my fingers and i just put it where my highlighter usually goes and i feel that it just makes me look so dewy like naturally dewy on my nose right here tip of my lip and a little on my chin so next we're gonna be going into brows so i swear by this i literally love this stuff my sister and i use it all the time i'm just gonna take a spoolie and i'm gonna brush my eyebrows up really i'm just letting my brows grow because i want them to get thicker also literally years ago maddie accidentally shaved off the front of my eyebrow because she thought she was using a spoolie instead of a, a razor and she trimmed the front of my eyebrow but it's actually starting to grow back it literally i didn't think it was gonna grow back okay back to this stuff that i'm obsessed with so this is called the brow micro filling pen by benefit okay so it has like three little bristles so it makes you look like you have like the most natural brows ever i'm basically just gonna run this through my eyebrows it just looks so natural. I'm also using the shade light brown. My eyebrows are really light and it's really annoying with my dark hair. So I just use this color to kind of darken them a little bit. And then I also extend my tail a little bit and then I'll blend it out. So just wait. This one's always harder for me to do because I'm a lefty. My eyebrows are not even close to being cousins or related in any way. I use the... 24 hour brow setter from benefit i've always used um benefit brow products i feel like they are the best ever i'm just gonna gel my brows perfect i think next we're gonna move on to eyes which i have loved doing now so i need to go get my maddie x morphe palette <laughs> i actually just got a new one because i broke mine but look how pretty it looks this is the hard part for me i have a really hard time <laughs> doing this we're gonna pull through i take a super thin brush like this it has like a little slant and i'm just gonna do some eyeliner i like to use this shade called asap i'm not that good at it do not judge it might take me a few tries and i start with the t the end of it they're never the same oh that was actually oh okay girl that's actually kind of good okay so and then i go to the middle and i drag it backwards do i like that i don't know the good thing about eyeshadow is you can just rub it off and it's gone what did i do okay no we have one more try we have we have actually one more try all right this is actually our last try um 
pretty pretty okay pretty pretty good okay so then i take that same color that i was taking before sometimes i experiment with these colors but today i'm not going to because i'm a little stressed out from that whole eyeliner situation i take the same color and run it under my eye obviously my eyeliner is not the best but mascara will cover it up so we have nothing to worry about so i'm gonna be taking my favorite mascara that i have ever 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 used um i got this from tiktok this is the maybelline sky high mascara this is what my eyelashes look like right now they are very long this mascara just separates them so well and that is the lashes so now i do my setting spray um because i don't want my lips to be wet so i'm going to be using the beauty blender um redo it's set and refresh spray and i really like this because it's light it's not like too wet on my face it just feels you know nice <laughs> Spray my face. The last things we are going to do is lippies. Um, I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner and lipstick. It's like a lip kit I got and it's in the shade Pillow Talk. So usually what I do is I put a little bit of lip balm on before I do my lip liner so it just glides easily. I just got this sent me. Does anyone remember this? The baby lips basically line my lips. Also, my lips are a little bit busted right now because Boots and I were playing and he hit his head on my lips. So no, I didn't get lip injections if you're wondering. When I put lip balm on before, it just mutes the color a little bit. I'm just gonna dab it on my lips to give it some color. Sometimes when I want to go for a darker color, I use this lipstick which is from Christian Dior. My mom got me this. I don't know why she got the nicest lipstick ever. Um, and I just dab over it. Next, and the last thing I'm gonna be using is, of course, <laughs> the Morphe X Maddie Ziegler uh, lip gloss. This is in the shade Libra Energy. I love all of the lip glosses. I love this lip gloss because it doesn't make your lips like so sticky like other lip glosses do. And that is it with the makeup. We're gonna take my hair out and see what it looks like. Oh, I look like an a literal tiktok boy with a middle part wow we have some nice hair going on right now i didn't brush my hair today actually okay i think i'm just gonna stick some of it in a little clip okay let's not like ruin my hair completely spoke too soon hey hi check me out <laughs> hey hello yo what's up youtube it's your boy <laughs> Did you do your makeup already? I did. What? I said you look beautiful. Thank you. He's so cute. Cute. So we're gonna go put on an outfit and I will see you then. Okay, so this is the fit. I got this shirt from Hazel Boutique. I also got this jacket from a thrift store, which I think is so cute. I got these jeans from, I'll put the Instagram up right here because I don't wanna get it wrong. And I'm just wearing some Converse. I forgot my glasses. And then these also pair in with the black situation we got going on. I literally love these jeans. They're Levi's. They have a little butt rip. That is the end of the video. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Love you so much. Bye!